Hello, and welcome to the second of two Chemistry 1412 mini lectures on intermolecular forces and in liquids. Intermolecular forces are responsible for many of the physical characteristics of liquids and solids. Vapor pressure, viscosity, boiling and freezing points, intermolecular forces determine all of these. Let's take a closer look. The measure of a liquid's resistance to flow is called its viscosity. Viscosity is related to the ease with which individual molecules move around in the liquid and thus to the intermolecular forces present. Substances with weak intermolecular forces have relatively low viscosities, while substances with strong intermolecular forces have relatively high viscosities. Highly viscous liquids pour thickly and slowly, like honey. Low viscosity liquids pour smoothly and quickly, like water. Surface tension is a result of unbalanced intermolecular forces at the surface of a liquid. They point down into the liquid. As intermolecular forces increase, so does the surface tension. Surface tension, like viscosity, is generally higher in liquids that have stronger intermolecular forces. Both properties are also temperature dependent because molecules at higher temperature have more kinetic energy to counteract the attractive forces holding them together. Note that mercury has a particularly large surface tension, causing droplets to form beads and giving the top of the mercury column in a barometer a rounded shape called a meniscus. The interaction between a liquid and the surface of the solid depends on two types of attractive forces. Cohesion forces are liquid-liquid interactions. Adhesion forces are liquid-solid interactions. The relative strengths of the two forces dictate the shape of a liquid's meniscus. The concave meniscus for water results from stronger adhesion adhesive forces. The convex meniscus for mercury results from stronger cohesive forces. Volatility is a measure of how easily a liquid evaporates. Methanol is a highly volatile liquid. It evaporates very quickly. Mercury is not a volatile liquid. It evaporates, but very slowly. The rate of evaporation is indirectly related to the strength of the intermolecular forces. Even though methanol has hydrogen bonding as its strongest intermolecular force, the dispersion forces in the much higher atomic mass mercury add up to a stronger intermolecular force. Evaporation takes place at the surface of a liquid. If the liquid is in a closed container, like in this Windex bottle, the evaporation and condensation of the Windex achieves what is called a dynamic equilibrium. Equilibrium does not mean the amounts of gaseous Windex and liquid Windex are equal. Instead, it means that the rates of evaporation and condensation are equal. In other words, for every molecule of Windex that evaporates, another molecule condenses back into the liquid state. Here we see two molecules, butane and propanol. Butane has a very high vapor pressure, while propanol has a much lower vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is indirectly proportional to the strength of the intermolecular force. Butane is a completely symmetric, nonpolar molecule. The only intermolecular force it has is the dispersion forces, which are the weakest force at similar molecular weight. Propanol has hydrogen bonding as its strongest intermolecular force. This is much stronger than the intermolecular force in butane. The stronger the intermolecular force, 
the more difficult it is for a liquid molecule to evaporate into the gaseous state. High intermolecular force means less evaporation, which means less gaseous molecules, which means lower vapor pressure. Low intermolecular force means more evaporation, which means more gaseous molecules, which means higher vapor pressure. Boiling occurs when the vapor pressure inside the liquid equals the atmospheric pressure outside the liquid. This occurs when you heat the liquid or if you bring the atmospheric pressure down very low. You could think of intermolecular forces as sticky glue forces that keep bubbles from forming in the liquid. The higher the intermolecular force, the more difficult it is for the liquid to form bubbles. The higher the intermolecular force, the higher the boiling point. This has been your mini lecture on intermolecular forces in liquids from our Chemistry 1412 class. Please go to Sapling Now and do any related assignments. If you need help, please do not hesitate to ask your instructor. Help is always available.